Last year, Alcatel challenged the notion that a good smartphone should cost a large chunk of your rent with its solid and affordable IDO3 flagship. This year, the company is pushing the envelope again by being the first to offer a smartphone that ships with its own VR headset in the box, all for just $399. Before we dive into the phone itself, let's check out the box. You're just as likely to be as distracted as I am considering this bundle comes with the VR goggles, a screen protector, an Incipio phone case, and JBL earphones. This solid plastic container is a really great place to store your accessories and hold your goggles when you're not using them. The highlight of this kit is the VR goggles. They look very similar to Samsung's Gear VR, except that the controls are on the underside instead of the right edge. You'll also get an additional headpiece that makes for a more comfortable fit, although it makes storing it a hassle. The Idol 4S VR goggles are based on Google's cardboard, so don't expect super high quality graphics when you're using them. Still, of all the cardboard viewers out there, Alcatel's is one of the most solidly constructed and provides a great way to explore VR without breaking the bank. But what good is a VR headset without a solid library of content and a great device to power it all? Hang on, we're getting there. While the bundle is a nice bonus, what you're really paying for is the phone. Alcatel went all out this year, covering the Idol 4S in a slick glass and metal frame that's very similar to last year's Galaxy S6. It's definitely a step up from the Idol 3, which had a more basic look. I really like how it feels, but the glass picks up fingerprints very easily, and you'll have to keep wiping down the phone to avoid it looking dirty. It's nice that the US version of the Idol 4S has a fingerprint sensor on the back, and in general, this worked really well. I just wish it was easier to find the reader by touch. The etching around the sensor is not as obvious as on other phones, which are often depressed for easier finger placement. My one other gripe about the Ado 4S's design is I wish it had a physical home button or even capacitive keys below the display instead of relying on the software's navigation keys, which takes up precious screen space. To be suitable for VR content, most phones this year are sporting Quad HD displays. The Ido 4S is no exception, and its 5.5-inch 2K AMOLED panel is rich and bright with clear details. You'll have no problem enjoying high-res videos and VR content on the screen. Here's something really cool about the Ido 4S. It's got dual JBL certified speakers that will pump out music from both the front and back of the phone. So whether you have it face up or face down on your table, your music won't sound muffled. I love how loud these speakers get too, so I can easily hear my Netflix shows over my noisy neighbors. You can also use the included Waves Max Audio software to pick customizable sound profiles for specific situations, such as music, movie, or general. At launch, the Ido 4S will ship with Android Marshmallow, and the company promises an update to Android N when the OS is released. The phone is mostly stock Android, but is skinned with Alcatel's somewhat cutesy icons in place of the standard camera, dialer, contacts, and email ones. There's not a lot of bloatware to be found. Alcatel's included its fun mix app so you can easily mash up some tunes. But you also notice a bunch of third-party titles such as Little Star and Fuse. These contain 360-degree and VR video content that you can enjoy via the headset. Little Star is especially interesting since it includes VR videos from providers such as ABC News, Showtime, Discovery Channel, Riot, and more. The phone also comes with Titans of Space and Lamper VR games, as well as a VR Store app for you to get more titles. The Idol's 16-megapixel rear camera snaps sharp, colorful pics. Built into the camera app is a fuse mode that lets you take 360-degree photos that you can view with the VR goggles or drag around on the phone to view. The interface is slightly tricky to understand, though. The 8-megapixel front shooter took decent selfies. Just make sure to drag the enhancement effect down to make sure you don't look fake or washed out. The Idol 4S's battery life isn't shabby, either. It lasted 10 hours and 41 minutes on our test, beating the OnePlus 3. Even though it doesn't have the same Snapdragon 820 chips as the big boys in the market, the Idol 4S performed capably. Its octa-core Snapdragon 652 CPU was one of the trade-offs in meeting the affordable price. Most of the time, though, the Idol 4S kept pace with my demanding multitasking. Its benchmarks were, in general, just shy of its rivals, save for the CF Bench test in which it outperformed the OnePlus 3. For the same price, power users may prefer the OnePlus 3. It had all-around better performance than the Idol 4S, and its Oxygen OS system offers nifty personalization and security features. However, the OnePlus 3 only has a 1080p screen, which may not be as great in VR as the Idol 4S. 
Alcatel has a strong contender in ZTE's Exxon 7, which boasts a Snapdragon 820 chip, similar 2K display, and a solid premium body for the same price. But the Exxon 7 doesn't come with its own VR headset in the box. Overall, the Eidl 4S is a serious bargain. If you pre-order before August 3rd, the whole package costs only $350. The phone may not be as powerful as the competition, but the value proposition is hard to ignore. Those looking for an easy, affordable venture into VR would definitely love the Eidl 4S.